Okay, so we are here at the Wednesday sale. What is this? Eh, endless suffering awaits those who would disrespect the yeah. <laughs> Don't disrespect the yam. Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another episode of We Happy Few and today we're gonna go visit the boathouse, a potential escape for us, Sally and the baby out of this crazy town uh, where everybody is uh, high on joy. I hope that the general actually doesn't try to stop us, but he probably will because it's, it's his boat. Um, so I guess we'll find out. Okay, here we are at the boat house. Doesn't really look like a harbor. Only authorized people. That's me. Oh, there's uh two bombs in here. That will not be safe. It is here. The general's Bristol pilot. That is a nice My boat. God, if I could steal a boat. Wow. But does it work? Miss Boyle! How lovely to see you. You got the boat in the water. Well, over the water anyway. They don't leak quite as much anymore. Thing is, the motor don't turn. I mean, forget starting it. The old man's got the only key. I can't even turn it with a wrench. Rusted solid. I'd have to take it apart, but... I think I'd never get it back together again. You know a lot about boats, and you're the only one fixing it up? Ma'am, I'm a joiner. If you need a door hung, I'm your man. Apparently that makes me the General's expert on boats. My dad and I patched up a Bristol pilot when I was a girl. Is that what sort of boat it is? It did about 20 leagues, but it wasn't really white water. So we sold it for a twin diesel schooner. Of course, the Navy requisitioned that for lake patrols. We tried to patch up a Q-boat during the occupation, but we couldn't find a ramjet. I'm not an expert. Would you happen to know how to fix the motor? Well, if it's rusted solid, maybe Dr. Faraday would make a new one for me. You know Dr. Faraday? If the likes of me asked her, she'd probably zap me with one of her satanic devices. All right. But don't tell the General. No, ma'am. It'll be our little secret. Won't the General be surprised? Dr. Faraday, the one that toppered away from me when I was playing as Arthur. Of course, she's, she uh, has a role in everything, doesn't she? Hmm. Can't enter this door, unfortunately. Let's take a quick look around, see if there's anything useful around here. Like maybe some extra canteens. To the light bulb. I see that memory, I'm gonna pick it up just in a second. Posh. Let's see what this is about. I don't know who you're trying to fool, Mum. Talking all posh like that. You think Prince Charming's going to come visiting with a glass slipper? I hope not. He's already married to Snow White, Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. Don't be smart. Nobody likes a smart girl. I like a smart girl. And I especially like girls that can play video games. But that doesn't happen very often, unfortunately. Uh, which is kind of changing, I think. What do you guys think? You think there's a lot more uh, female gamers out there now? I feel like there is. I don't know. I just don't see him around too often, though. Well, Gwen, uh, we may just not get out of here alive after all. I just need to get Dr. Faraday to make a new boat motor for me. Then I lied my ass off to Hardy. <laughs> I've never been near a boat. So I'll need to find someone who can tell me how to drive one. And I guess I'll need to steal the general's key to the boat. All right. <laughs> First things first. Who can tell me about boats? Hmm. Wait. Ah, oh, the air raid shelter. Arthur and I snuck in there once. And then we walked the rail tunnels all the way back to Maidenhome. 
I should go down there and make sure the hatch door is still open. Never hurts to have an escape hatch. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't Arthur be pleased if he'd come up with that? Finally. I've been by the hatch before in the last episode, but <clears throat> it was all boarded up so I couldn't access it. <clears throat> it looks like it's part of the quest though, so now we might be able to finally get it. Which would also mean less running around than we happy few universe. Which there is a lot of running. Oh, well, there we are. Finally, the metal thing is gone. Fantastic. Oh, well, this looks nice. Ooh, formulas? Go go juice? Coglin? I don't know what that is. That's, uh, there's a lavatory over there. Just in case I need to relieve myself. Let's move some stuff into the inventory. Pure water. Look at all this pure water I have. I'm gonna have to go feed that baby very soon. Scotch? We could totally sell that to get the uh, baby feeder. These are all ingredients. Should definitely put that away. Okay. We don't need these rubber ducks here. So we can just put them in there. Histoplasm, put that in there as well. Axes. We do have a lot of... Ooh, guys, check this out. 60 pounds for this axe. I'm gonna go sell it. Same thing with these helmets. Oh, looks like we gotta go feed the baby again. With all this stuff going on. Alrighty then. So we go... We uh, know what we're gonna do next. Whoops. Hey, that's a lot of scotch. You know, I, I can sell all this. And they're all like 20 pounds each. So maybe I might be able to get that bird feeder after all. Look at this. This is fantastic. There's the hatch over there, which we're going to use in just a second. Some more scotch. The lavatory seems to be uh, full. Toilets. Ooh, searching toilets. That is so nasty. Alrighty then. Good. Now I can sneak back in anytime. So I think we gotta go to St. George's home, right? Or is it not? Where's my next quest? <gasps> oh, that crazy old pirate. He must know about boats. He can't be hard to find. He's always at the pub. There you go. We gotta go to the barmaid. And where would that be? Oh, I see it. I see it. It's all the way over here. So it means I gotta go back home, which is good because I gotta go feed the baby really quick and drop some the stuff goes off. Ever on and on. All right, here we go to shop. I know I got a whole bunch Afternoon. of stuff I can sell them. Have you got my chemical bag? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I have. All right, cool. So let's, let's spend see my money, shall we? How much that costs? I did get a perk that basically equals out the trade for us so maybe the prices went down yeah they have by a whole hundred pounds that's really good oh and i can buy this cool yeah let's buy that and then we got stuff to sell so we're not gonna use the enfield rifle i don't think we can't use the axe. And look at that, 60 pounds. I don't know why we can't use the axe. I'm guessing it's because we're too weak for it. So let's sell that. Let's sell the rifle. Uh, the Jolly Brawley, we got a couple of those actually. But we might actually need it to defend ourselves. So let's, I'm gonna hold off on that. 
look at this the war rations I'm gonna sell them because they have really high value and I can always find food around everywhere and the helmets oh yeah look how much money we're making we got the banger best first aid kid hmm we might, I'm gonna keep it for a bit and then the scotch Wow Look how much money I got that is crazy. I'm gonna keep three just in case we need it for something but that That just made me such a happy guy and then we can sell these for a lot too Especially since we can easily like make them. I'm gonna sell like six There we go We don't need a teacup Oh, this is so much better. Here we go we finally got the baby feeder and we got 394 pounds left to spare now um, I don't think we're gonna buy anything you know what I'm gonna get some of these flower bags because they're good for uh, crafting and some of these sugar bags see you later there you go and that's it oh your bird likes it flowers Lionel flowers there you go careful with your uh chemicals what? That you're carrying? In the back? Yes, of course. I'll be super careful. Yes. Finally, let's go feed that baby. Let's go feed that baby. I'm so happy. I am finally got money to spend. And all this good stuff. Oh. Finally, things are looking up. Things are really looking up. I'm coming, baby. I'll save you. Now, do I? Oh. So, actually, I wonder if I can make more blackberry. I should try that out. Hi, Gwen. I'm gonna install the baby feeder. Oh, the frame drop. So what is that gonna do? So that basically what? We don't have to feed him anymore? What? Look at this. That is impressive. I should be teaching you things instead of telling you my troubles, shouldn't I? Who else do I have to talk to? And you never call me a stupid cow. <laughs> Promise me you'll never talk about yourself the way mommy does. Okay? I can't believe it. We don't have to feed the baby anymore. This is such a relief. You, I don't know. I don't think you guys understand how relieved I am at the fact that I don't have to do this anymore. And all the Burton's gone, so now I have so much inventory left. Um, Blackberry Joy Components. I wonder... What were they again? Forgot what it was. What it was. Hmm, I don't know. I know it was, uh... Let me see. I'm just really curious. If I made some more of it, would that give me like more money or something like that? Stoic sunshine. We got a whole bunch of goodies. Don't we need digitalax? But we have a lot of it, don't we? Pretty sure. Oh, we can make knockout juice. This is actually what we needed for the knockout syringes. Yeah. I'm gonna make some of these pheromones yeah let's see cuz that that, f that goes into the blackberry joy where's the knockout thing knockout syringe there it is empty syringes which you got a whole bunch 10 
This makes 10 of them? We have all the knockout syringes we'll ever need. And let me see this. They're actually worth 15 pounds each. I have 450 pounds in those. We're never gonna run out of money either. This is great. Oh. Okay, now, now I'm loving this playthrough. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh yes, finally. Okay, and we are at the bar. Let's see what the old pirate has to Hello, say. Hello, Miss Boyle. Usual. Oh, I'm afraid I'm looking for someone. He's not here. He's he's just stepped out. Don't know when he'll be back. <laughs> Where's the pirate? Does he owe you money too? No, I want to talk with him about boats. He ran out looking for Eddie. The meat boy said he was on Wednesday's Hill. Eddie McMillan? What's he doing there? What do you get when you cross an elephant with a rhino? What? Elephino. I don't know. Watch yourself out there. <laughs> the old name for that hill wasn't uh -huh. Wednesday. That's goddamn creepy. Did she just say a uh, dad joke? Miller Helen. Miller Helen? Miller what? Okay, so that is actually right there. Okay, so we're gonna use the axis hatch again, so that means we gotta go back. Okay, so we are here at the Wednesday Hill. What is this? Eh, endless suffering awaits those who would disrespect the yeah. <laughs> Don't disrespect the yam. Oh, well, that was actually pretty cool. Sorry about that, but uh, picking up the stick and actually the body fell, which was nice. Hello, cop Captain Strawbeard. They've taken him. Poor, poor Eddie. Who's taken Eddie? The cultists. Up on the hill. The yam people. It's not yams they worship. They, it's too horrible. You have to stop them. They're gonna kill him. I wish I could do it. I'm too scared. Oh, God. I just... My legs have got all watery. No, I'm a coward, Miss Boyle. A coward. I'll do my best. Don't go anywhere. Save him, Miss Boyle. Please. I'll save him and then you can tell me all about them boats. Turn back now or face the wrath of the yam. Oh, oh dear. Think we should all eat it. Just cut it up into tiny Did you read any of the signs? <laughs> Did you? No, please, no, oh, don't boy. kill me! My God, these people are crazy. They're gonna cut his heart out. I don't think I want to fight all these vegetable worshippers. I wonder if there's a way I could drug them. Oh, look, they're drinking out of a chalice. Hear the words of the no, old please, one, no, whose names don't kill are me. secret. Knockout juice. Please tell me I can craft knockout juice on the go. Ah, uh, of course I can't. And may not be said, whispered in the shadow of the new moon. When I wear my cloak of shadow. Ye shall assemble Save in me. some Save secret me. place Please. and adore me. And I will teach you things that are unknown. I am... This is our little secret. To her! Nice. I knew that bomb would come in handy. Now you're gonna get knocked the hell out. Yeah, the yam didn't help you now, boy. The eager cleaver. Ooh, they got some good stuff. Hold on over there, buddy. 
I will be right with you. Let me just pick up all this stuff that they got. Hmm. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They promised me sweets if I came along with them. But there weren't any. And really? And they tied me up. We mustn't trust strangers, Eddie. Really? I know. But I can trust you, can't I? You're good. And Arthur, he's good too. Percy always said so. Yeah. Arthur's bloody brilliant. Look, you wait here. I'll send someone to get you home. Right. Let's go talk to Captain uh, Strawbeard. How the hell do they become yam fanatics, you know? How does that happen? That they, uh... Well, where's the way down? That they, uh, start praising and worshipping the yam out of all vegetables. Why not the potato, you know? What's wrong with the potato? You saved him! I wish I had! I love that lad! He's one of the best people I know! Yeah! He'll need you to carry him home. Listen, Captain, I need to fix up a Bristol pilot. The, uh, a general's. Oh, that's a beauty. I love that boat. Clean lines, beautiful woodwork. I was just reading about it. Could I... Could I borrow your book? Oh, sure. Here we go. Least I can do. After I didn't save any, keep it. You'll need it more than I do. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I haven't been in a boat in 15 years. Say, you wouldn't happen to have a sovereign for a thirsty pirate, would you? I feel smarter about boats already. When is Arthur getting that cod liver nice. oil? Maybe he's got it. Maybe he's already... I'm so close to our playground. Maybe I should just see if he's there. And see how things are going. That sounds like a great idea, Sally. Let's go do that. And I did. All right, Arthur. Tell me you got the color royal for my You're baby. Still in town. He does. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. My saver. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. You look... rough. What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want, always what you need, every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Am I really that awful? Well, just because you seduced my dad? In my mum's bed, while you were staying in our house? How was I supposed to tell him no? I didn't have anywhere else to go. Um... Sorry. Here. Let's go together. We're two musketeers. I'm scared, Arthur. Aren't you? <sighs> it's going crazy out there. We have to go now. Wait, wait. I have to go back to my place first. Why? And we sort of have to wait till dawn. Oh, God, no. Oh, yeah. There's something I have to tell you. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. I've got a baby. She never said that to him. It's just self-preservation, Sally. That's new. No hard feelings. Arthur? Arthur? Did he even hear me? Wow. Of course he heard you. He just didn't care. At least he brought the cod liver oil. At least that. I've got to get it to Gwen as fast as I can. Oedipus didn't know what he was doing. 
This makes so much more sense. Now I understand why Sally couldn't go. It's because she had a baby. This is actually a really nice seeing like the um the two sides of the story instead of just you know being like oh Arthur did this and whatnot. You, you can actually tell why Sally now, did the things she did. If I'm going to shoot a hell, which train do I take? is perfectly horrid. I know. But it will help you fight those nasty measles. And that is everything. We're gonna see the world, darling. We're gonna leave this awful place and go wherever we want. Just as soon as you're feeling better. All right. I know a thing or two about the general's boat. Now I just need a boat motor. I hope Dr. Faraday can make me one I can carry. Hmm. Yes. Let's go to Dr. Faraday and hopefully this time she won't teleport from her problems. This is nice for a change, having the Dr. Faraday's uh, little lab in the city. So the time of the events is a little bit off, like everything's just a little bit different. Like Dr. Faraday in Arthur's playthrough was actually living outside of town. And this time she is living inside the town. And she's still here. And it actually looks like the replica of her house was literally lifted from the garden district and put right in the middle of the city. This is actually kind of bizarre to oh tell dear. you guys. Oh, shut it up. I hope she's not gone on holiday. Pretty neat, isn't she? It was months well, ago. She turned I was only dancing. I was only dancing. You wanted her. Don't Come on, get me wrong. I, I was only dancing. James. I was Roger, watching Sally from the Boyle. stairs. Oh, Sally. What are you doing here? Roger. Roger, it's Sally Boyle. Where's Dr. Faraday? Is she all right? I'm afraid. Hey, guys. She died. There was an explosion. She died. For fuck's sake, James. It's Sally Boyle. She, she's not here. She, she died. James. She said she died in the explosion. Oh, fuck. She's right upstairs. Roger! Uh, okay. Thanks, guys. Um... So this is actually fried. That we fried it with Arthur's... Oh, this is like so weird. Okay. Dr. Hmm. Faraday? It's Sally Boyle. Dr. Faraday? Dr. Faraday? James said you're alive. I suppose three can keep a secret if two of them are dead. You're hiding in your own house. I don't like people. They want things. Disturbs my thought processes. That's a shame. I rather like people. I used to have the most beautiful collection of records. Help me tune everyone out. But all my records blew up with my house. What brings you here? Who do you listen to? I'm sort of embarrassed to admit it, but 
The make believes. The early stuff, before Nick sold out. The unicorn song? That's my favourite. I had a rather brilliant formula in my head the last time I had it on. See, I've been trying to make a sort of portal. No matter. I lost the idea when I lost the record. I know where our copy is. I think I could get it for you. Really? I know if I heard that song, of I'd remember we my could. idea. That's how my brain works. Could you make me a motor for a Bristol pilot? Boat motor? Oh, that sneeze is more complicated than a boat motor. I thought you were here for something difficult. Ah, sure. You bring me the unicorn song and really? I'll make you a boat motor. The unicorn song? That awful song. Oh, that... <laughs> I bet the only person in Wellington Wells who hasn't burned their record is Nick himself. I can't believe how many times he made me listen to it. Well, at least we were on drugs. He'd never par with it. On the other hand, he's passed out half the time I come by. I'll just sneak in while he's sleeping. Where did I leave the key card he gave me? It's in that suitcase I brought to the Bobbies. Why the hell did I leave it there? Wear gloves. If you do get stung, try rubbing the sting with the root of the plant. I think you go away. Oh. Any event. Um. So, do we really have to sneak into a place full of bobbies? Please don't tell me I have to. Okay. Well, we're probably going to need the key card. I don't think we're going to be able to get out if we don't. So, we're going to stop by the bobby garage. Back soon. Gone for charge batteries. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm not supposed to be here. Now I remember. They wanted to carry me around in that car like I was some sort of conquering hero. I just wanted to get down on the ground. Clean forgot there was anything in that goddamn suitcase. Please tell me I can knock him out. Relax and enjoy it. Okay. Uh oh. <gasps> the good thing is that now that I have the syringes, I can actually knock people out. Please don't turn around. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, that works too. I hope this thing doesn't react to me. Unlock. And here's Nick's key card. Why do they make dresses with pockets, for Christ's sakes? Oh, yes, dude. If I can just sneak out of here successfully, this is gonna be so great. Sorry about knocking you out, buddy. Oh, Bobby Pen, I'll take that. Let's eat an onion like Shrek. We made it. A successful sneaking mission. That's actually very impressive of me to actually be able to sneak past all the guards. Of course, when I gotta get there, there's a bobby place right in front of it, and there's a downer detector. Oh, but look at this. A secret access. Now all I gotta figure out is how to get up there. Oh, there's something back here. Yes, the key card. Oh, 
We're in. And you guys already know I'm gonna take some of this good stuff. as ever. I'm not surprised the maid quit. There's a whole bunch of empty syringes and whatnot here. I wonder where the uh, person actually is though. Because I don't want to run into him. Okay. There you are. Nick's unconscious. I need all this stuff, guys, for my crafting stuff. Sleeping it off? At least he's taking a bath. That's something. Yeah. At least he's taking a bath, huh? Man, this place is a mess. Is if he's a rock star, he definitely uh, lives up to it. It's probably down in his secret lair. How do we get down there? He had some sort of secret button, didn't he? Secret layer and secret buttons. Electrified doorknob. Of free stuff from here that's great it would seem as if somebody was already here though oh some joy pills more joy pills some empty syringes I don't think I can pick that one up. song, huh? <sighs> what did I just do? Next safe code. I'm a little bit stumped, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. My secret place, a cha cha for three guitars. Also, I accidentally actually figured this out, I'm guessing. Uh huh. Am I sure? Okay! Whoa! That is actually really cool. Oh, this guy's living his best life, isn't he? 
A bit paranoid, aren't we? Wow. What's he been taking? I gotta save this because this looks extreme. This is like robbing a bank, like Mission Impossible stuff. Oh, hell yeah. Please don't mess it up. Of course I messed it up. Hell yeah. Oh my god. So much loot. Nine blooming nonsense. You guys see all this stuff? Damn. What is he doing all the way over here? I can't believe someone actually likes this record. Aside from me, of course. <laughs> okay, so this is actually pretty cool. I'll take all that, thank you very much. I'm gonna have so many crafting ingredients. I don't think I'll ever run out. What? Good thing I got a lot of weight to spare. Thank you, Nick. I'm out of here. Hell yeah. So I wonder where his uh, safe code is though. Nick's safe code. I haven't picked it up. I don't know where it is. I mean, that's okay. I mean, we picked up a lot of loot anyway. So we're more than good. Oh, we can pick the lock over here. I thought it was only passcode. Well, we got access to even more stuff. I didn't think that was going to be possible to have this much really good loot everywhere. We got canteens for days. Combo to Nick's safe. Well, would you look at that? We can actually open it up and we are going to. So much loot, holy cow. Nick, you are the man. Oh, that's all it was. Oh, okay. Some lost lyrics and whatnot. Take all items. So you had some information on here, useful information. So I'm actually super happy I got I got all that stuff. Now let's get out of his house. Oh no. Fucking a bucket. Whoa, look, lads! It's our lucky day. We don't need to go through this again, do we? Don't you remember what happened last time? 
I have a very poor memory. Almost as bad as my impulse control. Fact remains, you have been selling unapproved pharmaceuticals in Bobby Catesby's domain. And you ain't paid for that privilege. Really? All right. Let's dance. Really? Really? Mm, how do you like that, huh? Come here. You ain't got your mates to back you up now, do ya? Oh, you got beat up to a girl again. Better you than me. You guys won't bother me anymore. Hell yeah. Now that is what I call a strong, independent woman. <laughs> oh man, I just gotta say. I'm having a, actually now I'm having a tons of fun with Sally with my playthrough. The baby's fed. I got plenty of uh, inventory to move everything. Everything is just going so smooth. All right, Dr. Faraday, make me that motor, please. Do you have my record? I have indeed. This is fantastic! I'm finally going to be able to make my portal. Uh, never mind about that. And my motor? Have you made that? And you have earned your boat motor. I won't ask you whose boat or where you're sailing it. I have an entirely different plan. Does it involve portals? Clever lass! Hmm. Remarkably compact for a boat motor. All right. I've got a boat motor boat and a boat manual. Now all I need is the general's bloody key. He doesn't have it in his office in the camp, or I'd have found it already. If I know him at all, it's in his safe house. Ooh, infiltrate being safe house? That's gonna be very unpleasant. If he finds me, he's gonna try to beat me up. I am so certain about that. But that is enough for this episode. We've actually collected so much stuff that I think we're actually reaching the end of our playthrough as Sally because if we get that key we have everything to get the boat run up and running and that means we can escape but we're all gonna find that out in the next episode thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one see ya